Hi guys, here we are with the Joyful Jumbo class. This class was uh, designed by a great creative memories consultant named Sachi Omitsu. She's super talented, super creative. She can turn little pieces of paper into gold. And uh, so we're gonna be here reproducing one of her designs, Joyful Jumbo. So again, I'm, I'm using the Boho uh, Escape uh, pack. Some of these are from the Tone on Tone and some of these are from the designer paper. I just love the greens and browns and pinks together. Uh, for this, we need four, uh, three sheets of designer paper. I, I pulled out four because I'm not just not sure. So I'm going to pull out four. And we need four sheets of cardstock. So I've got some rich brown and I've got some pink lemonade. And uh, so we're going to go from there. We need our straight trimmer. We're going to use the jumbo circle cutting system pattern with the red blade and some all-purpose scissors for some regular trimming and then some adhesive. All right, we're gonna start with our designer paper. I'm gonna take three sheets, put them together. This is a little risky, but Sachi says we can do it. I'm gonna say we can do it. I'm gonna stack them together very securely. And I only want to cut off a quarter of an inch. So in order to do that, a quarter of an inch is actually from my trimmer line, for my cutting track, a quarter of an inch is actually the outside of the cutting track, the opposite side. Another way of making sure of this is to put, since we know the paper is 12 inches, put it on the 11 and 3 quarter inch line over here. So you'll see 11 and 3 quarters, and there I'm at the end of my printing track, cutting track, everything is lined up, and there we go. We got that, we got those three strips off, we're going to rotate the paper 90 degrees, and we're going to do it again. We now have an 11 and 3 quarter inch square, and some lovely little strips to use. For enhancements okay since we did so well stacking our paper and cutting it together we're going to try it again this time we're going to use it with the cutting mat we put the paper in the center of our cutting mat this is our 13 by 13 cutting mat if you have a 12 by 12 you can use that too probably and it will just be a little tight but it will work. I'm going to put my circle template as close to the center as I can and I'm going to use the red blade on the outside to cut three circles on the outside. All right, the red blade on the outside getting my blade together. All right, carefully cutting three circles at once. You're going to make sure your legs are in the track. Press hard. Go around. Okay. Got to jiggle to make sure I got through all three. Look at that. Now, we're going to save these. Sachi's a master crafter at these. In fact, before we move it, I'm going to show you what we're going to do. We're going to fold these ring scraps in half. And in half again to make quarters. Now we've got a stack. Okay, and what are we going to do with these? We're going to cut them on the seams, cut them apart, they should all be separate in a little stack, all the different papers. We're going to just put them to the side, we're going to use them later. Yes, we are going to use them later. Okay, so now we have, let's remove this circle, just to review, we have three large circles. Now, 
We're going to get rid of one of them. I don't know. It doesn't matter which one. I'm just going to say this one because it's on top. Now, I have two. My fake fingernails are not very friendly with this. Uh, okay. Now we're going to put our circle back on here. And this time we're going to cut on the inside track. Let's get our lined up as best we can. Just go around the inside. If you did three, two should work just fine. Okay. Pull up the ring, the, the template, forgive me. And now we have two rings and two circles. So we have two rings, two circles, and a large circle. All right, now. We're going to start a creating. All right, we're going to start with one of the rings. Okay, I'm going to use this ring. And we're going to fold it. It doesn't have to be folded tightly. Just pinch it together. As long as the edges are lined up, It'll be symmetrical, and you're just gonna make a cut right here. Now we're gonna convert this into a banner by cutting up through the middle, get to the midpoint, and go up maybe three quarters of an inch. Make a cut up, and then go from each corner towards the middle. Trim. Trim, and there's your banner end. Get those nerds out of there. Now, all right, we got this cute little end. Now, I find it helpful to do this part on top of the mat or on top of the uh, a twelve-inch piece of paper, so you know what um, you know that you're not going over. We're going to do some folding to make this banner like a little, I have a little fancy touch to it. So I see my six inches. I'm gonna go in a couple of inches, maybe just you before the nine. You um, can sleep. And, excuse me, and uh, I'm gonna fold it back. Again, I just want to make sure that the end of my ribbon doesn't go over the 12 inch side. I'm going to go back in to about the three inches, fold it back. All right. So now we're going to take a piece of cardstock to put underneath of this. I think for this one, I'm gonna use a solid brown. And I'm not gonna adhere anything until I'm, I'm exactly comfortable with how it's turned out. Now I'm gonna show you how to make a bow out of these corner things. So you can choose any two of these. I'm going to, I think I'm going to try and find the ones that match this paper. They must be in here. Okay. We're going to find two of them. There should be four from each paper. So let's see. 